Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we will have a look at the theme Barrier. The theme is like incredibly instructive. It's basically all about using your opponent's spawn as a tool, as a barrier to help yourself. It's all about peace activity and controlling squares. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the first example. The material is equal and it's white to move, but white has a problem. This bishop has like almost no scope because this pawn is in the way and also there is no way to activate the bishop because as soon as the white bishop goes onto this diagonal he will just be plundering a piece which is not what you want to do the first thing you really want to do before thinking about your bishop is thinking about possible threats by black possible threat by black would be to simply come down there which would be a very very nice square for black the first thing you want to do is to try and prevent that as well as activating your own king which makes a lot of sense now we have something like bishop to c3 and in this case it's very important to play one id in particular one of the reasons we have played this move king to d3 think for a minute or so about this position and try to come up with an id which might seem in the very beginning a little bit weird but actually in the end makes a lot of sense so the solution is he has no range and so you want to you want to solve this problem and the way to solve it is to play e4 and it looks very weird as the pawn can take but this pawn serves as a barrier for the white pieces so what we do is we go to e2 this bishop is controlling all of these important squares and with the king and the pawn we're controlling there and like there's no way for black to come in the position it looks very weird giving up this pawn but the activity of the bishop is worth so much more than the pawn. So let's have a look at this position again. Actually, what we did, it's very important to understand. We can't play this immediately because then the king will take, right? So what we did, and I didn't tell you that in the very beginning, but you want to do this in order to force the pawn to take, right? The king can't take in this position. You want to force the pawn to take, and then we go to e2. Why, by the way, why don't we go there? Because the bishop could check in some cases and also we are blocking our own bishop right king to e2 makes more sense in this in this case let's say the king wants to try and come to c6 right because i mean we're controlling all of these squares the most logical plan for black would be to try and go to c6 so something like bishop to e5 making room for the king but we can probably play something like this as well immediately preventing the black king to go to d4 but a defense that might be a little bit more active would be something like bishop to g5 king to d4 and now simply king to d2 immediately preventing this king from reaching this square as well as just controlling all of the squares here very important that, that this square is protected twice there is no way to push the pawn and I mean, look at this. We have full control over the position. This pawn is kind of in the way of the black pieces, which is pretty, pretty nice for, for white. In this case, actually, black already needs to be careful because we also have plans of our own, which is to try and grab these pawns. So something like this would make a lot of sense, trying to stop this plan of coming down to d8 and well i mean this is a draw something like this this uh, we can go back for example or we can simply agree to a draw because really for both sides there is simply no way to make progress this is the second position and as you can see the material is equal but the problem is that there is no way to like capture this pawn with the deep pawn because the bishop is hanging so let's say we would do that then we would get something like this I mean, you would say, okay, these pawns are promoting, but nope, because of course we are simply protecting this. Something like this, uh, we can play h5, I mean, we can play some waiting moves, it doesn't really matter. Something like this, this, I mean, if he wants to run, we can easily control this, pick all these guys up. And also it's pretty nice to see that we are controlling all of these squares right now, as well as these actually with the king. This is also like a barrier, right? Um, even this is not the, the, the particular example I want to look at. This is also a, a great example of a barrier. But with black, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to, to simply give away your bishop. What you can do at home is try and find some concrete moves. I would say like three concrete moves. Uh, and also, but mostly like a plan to try and activate this bishop. Because that's clearly the one problem that black has in this position. So the solution in this position is we want to activate 
the bishop, but first of all, very important to simplify the position. So we first take on c4, and then we play this move, which is bishop to c6. Still impossible to take this pawn because the bishop is hanging on a8. But what we can do in this position is play this move, which is bishop to c6, which is actually giving up this pawn. But as you will see, we have full control over the position. The only thing we can't do, and it's very important to understand that, is we can't simply take this bishop because then the pawn will take. And this is a huge problem for black. White will be able to pick up both of these pawns just like that while also trying to promote this guy. And this is going to be a very easy win for white. Instead of taking this bishop, what we want to do with black is go to e8. And after something like c5 check, king c7, it's very similar to the very first position we've seen. We control all of the squares in the position or like the most important ones, right? We're controlling all of these squares right now and it's going to be pretty much impossible for white to make progress. I think it's pretty clear that something like this will not work out even some try like king to e4 or trying to go there is just not even worth it because we can easily uh, protect every single square uh, on the board because we have this good bishop and this pawn which looks mighty but actually isn't doing much at the moment and it's very easy to protect it. This is the final position we will have a look at today. If you want you can always uh, pause the video. It's black to move and try and make a draw. How do we do it? The first thing you should have looked at, very important, to look at the bishops in particular, not really at the pawns. You need to understand which bishops are most important for black and for white. For white it's definitely this one because it's way more active and it has the potential to reach the black pawns. For black it's this one because it has the potential to reach these pawns. It's pretty clear that this bishop might be fine because it has some range but this bishop is pretty bad because I mean he's looking at these pawns like this. If we could trade these guys then and these guys would remain, right? Black's great bishop and white's worst piece. What we do, of course, is we trade these bishops. That's the first step. And after this, it's gonna be just all about controlling squares. It's gonna be a draw, but only because this pawn is very threatening. But thanks to the activity of both the king and the bishop, it will be very, very easy to hold the draw. White has to play some waiting move. He can't really do a lot of stuff. You can do a lot of things. Um, I mean, in this, in this position, you can immediately go for this move, which is very nice because it's controlling this square. You're actually controlling all of these squares, which is pretty nice. But probably, I mean, the, the best technique, I would say, I mean, both are fine, of course is simply to first make sure that this pawn isn't going anywhere and afterwards go for that plan or so something like this and it's still the same right we're controlling all of these squares like there is no way to try and come in the position of something like this this um there is no real way for white to make progress and actually because this bishop is so bad and is controlling all of these pawns Black has even the option in a lot of cases to simply win a pawn. But it's not gonna be enough to try and win the position, why not? Because of course, remember, white has this extra pawn on the board. This would be the case after something like bishop to d3. He needs to protect both of them, which is really a pretty difficult job, right? So in this case, we would go there, you would say like, okay, this is not a problem, we can protect the pawn like this. But now we play this move, right? So we're attacking both of these pawns and basically it's gonna be impossible to protect both of them at the same time uh, but still thanks to this pawn it's gonna be a draw as you could see from this example the activity of pieces is sometimes really way more important than being up a pawn i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye